let's talk features, attributes, and benefits for just a second. Being able to understand what these are and knowing how and when to share them with your customers can many times be the difference between making and losing a sale. Now like anything in sales, it's the delivery that makes all the difference in the world. Can you imagine being interested in a product if the sales associate sounded like this? You know what I'm saying? The first step in sharing features, attributes, and benefits is the delivery. It's how you say it. Check out the following video clip, one of my personal favorites, and pay close attention to how the product is being presented. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow holds 12 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? It doesn't drip, it doesn't make a mess. Bring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany, you know the Germans always make good stuff. Here's some cola, wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage gonna be on top, there's your mildew, that is gonna smell. Look at this, put on the spill, turn it over without even putting any pressure, 50% of the cola right there. You follow me camera guy? The other 50%, the color starts to come up. No other towel is gonna do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this, virtually drawing the box. One of the reasons why I love this video clip is because of the way this guy presents the product, both verbally and non-verbally. Did you notice his posture? He was standing up straight, he was alert, he was attentive, he was leaning forward to the person, he was speaking in an elevated tone, he wasn't screaming, you know, he wasn't overbearing. He was fluctuating his voice, depending on what kind of a, of a reaction he wanted from you guys as the consumer. This guy was great, he, he didn't sound like a robot. You know, he didn't sound like a screaming politician either. This guy was awesome, he sounded like just some person who was telling his best friend about a cool product that he liked. Now let's check out the same clip again, just as a recap. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow holds 12 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? It doesn't trip, it doesn't make a mess. You wring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany, you know the Germans always make good stuff. Here's some cola, wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage gonna be on top, there's your mildew, that is gonna smell. Look at this, put on the spill, turn it over. Without even putting any pressure, 50% of the cola right there. You follow me camera guy? The other 50%, the color starts to come up. No one the towel is gonna to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this, virtually drawing the box. Features, by definition, are what are obvious to the senses about the product. What you can see, touch, taste, you get the idea. A great place to start with customers is explaining the features of a specific product. Just tell them what seems obvious, and don't worry, it won't be so obvious to them. Next, move to the attributes. Attributes are what the features do. So, now that you've explained what features the product has, go ahead and explain what the features do. For example, if you're talking about a new set of tires, you would explain that the tires are black, they are thick, and they have good tread patterns. The thick tires protect against objects in the road, and the good tread patterns will help add traction and stability in normal and adverse weather conditions. Next, let's move to benefits. This is where you really make the product look good in the eyes of your customers. You have to instill that desire to purchase. Okay, using that same tire scenario, it would go something like this. You mentioned that it snows and it rains a lot where you're from. Well, these tires are perfect just for that kind of situation, just for that uh, kind of condition. These tires are gonna grip the road when it's raining and you're not gonna slide around or slip all over the road. You don't have to worry about being stranded because you've slid off the road, you know, because there was ice or whatever. These tires are gonna keep you, keep you going great. Also, your kid's safety and your safety as well. You don't have to worry about stopping or going or anything like that because these tires are gonna be great for you. Plus, we throw in free flat repair. I'm just kidding, I just, I just threw that one in. But you get the point, right? Benefits are making sure that the customer understands that they can gain something from the product. So, just to review, features are what are obvious to the senses about the product. Attributes are what those features do, and benefits are anything that will provide enjoyment or gain from the product. 
Now let's go back to our favorite video clip, focusing this time less on the delivery and more on the content. Check out how he talks about features, attributes, and benefits, and how he transitions between each one of those things. And check out how much time he actually spends on sharing the benefits of the product to the customer. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. A regular towel doesn't work wet. This works wet or dry. This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow holds 12 times its weight in liquid. Look at this, it just does the work. Why do you want to work twice as hard? It doesn't trip doesn't make a mess, you wring it out, you wash it in the washing machine. Made in Germany. You know the Germans always make good stuff. Here's some cola. Wine, coffee, cola, pet stains. Not only is the damage going to be on top, there's your mildew. That is going to smell. Look at this. Put on the spill, turn it over without even putting any pressure. 50% of the cola right there. You follow me, camera guy? The other 50%, the color starts to come up. No other towel is going to do that. It acts like a vacuum. And look at this, virtually dry on the bed. I'm sure you noticed the features, attributes, and benefits that he talked about. And I'm sure you also noticed the transitions were pretty fast. And that he didn't spend a whole lot of time talking about features and attributes. He spent the majority of his time talking about the benefits. And that's what you're going to want to do. Internationally renowned retail speaker, author, trainer, and consultant James Dion says it best. Customers never buy features. They only buy what those features will do for them. Let's take a look at some role play scenarios that will show you how to use features, attributes, and benefits, and how to discuss those with your customers. All right, now that you see how our product changed color and sunlight, check mm -hmm. it out. These are our polarized sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, as I said, they're polarized, they're anti-glare, you know, and they change color in the sunlight. Check it out. Just add a little sun and the frames change the color. Check it out. Oh, this is they're, my favorite wow. color too. Yeah, wow, they're also I love it. How does this look, girl? Uh, they're awesome. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Remember these helpful hints when sharing features, attributes, and benefits with your customers. Number one, read the customer. Number two, ask appropriate find out questions. Number three, share features and attributes based on the customer's response to your find out questions. Number four, listen. Number five, apply benefit statements where appropriate. And number six, close the sale. In summary, so much of the reaction the customer will have towards what you're selling has to do with your delivery. Always take into account your body language. What are you telling the customer when you're not talking? When you do speak, do you sound interested? Are you interesting to listen to? Make sure you've studied up on your product knowledge so you can easily and clearly explain product features and attributes. Pay close attention to what the customer is saying so you can match benefits to their needs. It's a lot to remember, I know, but it's worth it. You get out of a sale what you put in. Good luck.